Welcome to your Tutor Online video lessons. My name is Joel, and today I'll teach you how to solve inequalities. And an inequality looks a lot like an equation, but instead of an equal sign, there's a greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to sign. We solve them in a similar way to equations by moving numbers across the inequality to get the variable all by itself. But look for those negative numbers. Whenever you multiply or divide by a negative, be sure to flip the inequality. So we'll look at our um, first example. I have 2x minus 3 is greater than 5. We want to get that x all by itself, and um, so we're going to take uh, everything away from uh, the x and move it to the other side, just like normal algebraic um, operations. So we're going to start with that 3 and add 3 to both sides. I'm left with 2x over here. 5 plus 3 is 8. And now to get the x all by itself, divide both sides by 2. And x is greater than 4. Okay. If you want to um, graph the solution, you can go ahead and write a number line. Go ahead and add dashes on there. And then just add numbers on there, but make sure it includes the number we solved for. 3, 4, 5, 6. Because this is a greater than uh, sign, it's going to be an open dot. And we're going to shade in the direction that the um, sign is pointing. So it's pointing to the right, and we'll shade to the right. And that makes sense. Everything that's shaded in will fit for that uh, equation. 5 is greater than 4. It fits. And then we go um, to the right. It's an open dot because it's everything up to but not including 4. Uh, so it's an open dot. If that were a greater than or equal to sign, then it would be a shaded dot. Let's look at the same example, but change one little thing to um, make sure we're aware of how to deal with negative signs in our inequalities. Let's say it was negative 2x minus 3 is greater than 5. We're still going to go and follow the same process. We're going to add 3 to both sides and be left with a negative 2x is greater than 8. And now we want to divide by negative 2 on both sides. And we're left with x over here. 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4. Now because we divided by a negative, we're going to flip the sign to point in the opposite direction. So x is less than negative 4. And we do that every single time we multiply or divide by a negative 2. Graphing is still very similar. Go ahead and draw your number line. Go ahead and add a couple dashes on there. Make sure we have the negative 4 on there somewhere. Negative 5, negative 6, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and 0. Again, a hollow dot at the negative 4. It's still going to shade in the direction that it's pointing because that will make the statement true. Negative 6 is less than negative 4, and it's every single number up to, but not including the negative 4. Okay. I'm going to give you one more example. Quantity of 4x plus 1. All of that divided by negative 3, and it's greater than or equal to negative 2. All right. We want to go ahead and solve this inequality by taking away all the pieces that are attached onto the x. The way to get rid of this 3 is to multiply both sides by negative 3. So we're going to multiply by negative 3, multiply by negative 3. We're left with over here, because this cancels out, 4x plus 1. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. Because we multiply by a negative, we're going to flip the sign. Subtract both sides by 1, and we're left with 4x over here because it cancels out. We're left with a 5 over here. The sign stays the same because that is an addition or subtraction. We're only flipping when we multiply or divide. And then the very last step here, um, let me move this up just a tiny bit. We're going to divide both sides by 4. x is less than or equal to 
5 over 4. Okay. Um, and there you go. Uh, that's another uh, simple example there for uh, how to solve inequalities. Well, thank you for joining me for this lesson. The biggest thing to remember is solve them just like uh, equations, but if you multiply or divide by a negative, then flip the sign in the opposite direction. And I hope this lesson was helpful for you. Please help me help you by leaving comments and asking questions right here on the YouTube page. You can also send me an email, joel at yourtutoronline.com, or go over and like the Facebook page. And if these videos are helpful for you, please share them with your classmates. And I'll see you next time. Happy studying.